Hi friends, welcome to Curie Electronics. This is the second lecture of trade theory. So today we are going to learn what is temperature coefficient. So we will start. So we are going to learn what is temperature coefficient. Temperature, temp, temperature coefficient. Temperature coefficient. What is temperature coefficient? See now we will consider one resistor itself, one resistor. Okay, one resistor. At if you see this resistor temper resistance is all let us consider 10 ohm. 10 ohm is the value. This is at we'll consider at 0 degree Celsius. It is at 0 degree Celsius, the resistor value equal to 10 ohm. But if you see at 50 degree Celsius, same resistor at 50 degree Celsius, the value will change and it will change. Or you take a copper wire, say copper, copper wire, okay, say copper, copper wire. If you see copper wire with the rise in temperature, with the rise in temperature, when T increases, the temperature coefficient it is denoted by alpha with rise in temperature what happens this copper wire resistance also increases for normally for for conductors normally for conductors conductors when rise in temperature happens the resistance also increases these are known as positive temperature PTC materials, positive tem temperature coefficient materials. And one more type is there that is NTC, that is negative temperature coefficient materials. In negative temperature coefficient materials, what happens when temperature increases, resistance decreases. Good example of this is semiconductors semiconductors conductors now we'll see what is the definition for temperature coefficient the rise the change in resistance the change in the resistance the change in resistance by increasing by increasing the change in resistance by increasing its temperature its temperature means in the material temperature its temperature temperature by 1 degree Celsius by 1 degree Celsius is known as is known as temperature coefficient that is alpha temperature coefficient okay so simply if we say per per degree Celsius rise in temperature what is the change in the resistance that is the that is the That is what temperature coefficient. Now I will write the equation for temperature coefficient. R of T equal to R naught R naught 1 plus alpha T. This is the equation for see this is the equation to find the new resistance value due to change in temperature where R, R T equal to resistance, resistance of the material resistance at T degree Celsius temperature, temperature, R naught resistance 
R naught is the resistance at at zero degree Celsius temperature. Temperature zero degree Celsius temperature. And alpha is the temperature coefficient. Alpha is the temperature temperature coefficient coefficient temperature coefficient so temperature coefficient you should simply you should know that it is a change in temperature change in resistance of a material with one degree rise in temperature rising the change in resistance of a material with one degree rise in temperature and this is the important equation you should remember okay rt equals uh, this is one of the question we will solve it rt rt so so we'll write the equation once more what is rt we'll write the equation once more what is rt sorry this is uh, not arranged properly So this is where we started. Okay, now I'll write the equation once more. R of T equals R naught multiplied by one plus alpha alpha T. This is an important equation you should know. Now, once you know this equation, if you want to find alpha, it is very simple. How do you I'll try to Rearrange the equation RT minus RT equal to R0. I am opening the up bracket plus R0 alpha T. Now we want R0 alpha T. I'll keep it one side. RT minus R0. I'll take it the other side. Now what is alpha? Alpha equal to RT minus R0 divided by r naught r naught c this is a rearranged equation you need not remember this equation but you should remember the first equation that is rt my rt equal to then the new resistance equal to resistance at zero degree celsius multiplied by one plus alpha t now we will solve one question okay one question is there Where is the question? One question is there. Uh, this is the question. This question had come in 2017. 2017 Isaac uh, ISRO exam. This question was asked in one of the ISRO technician B exams. Well, we will we'll just solve this question. Okay. So here. PT100 is a platinum RTD whose resistance at 0 degree Celsius equal to 100 ohm that is R naught equal to 100 ohm. If the resistance temperature coefficient of platinum is temperature coefficient of the material is given 3.9 into 10 to the power minus 3 per degree Celsius. So each one degree Celsius this is what the change in resistance happens. Find RT at and T he has given at 10 degree Celsius. 10 degree Celsius. RT is the question. How do you find RT? You will write the equation RT equal to R0 multiplied by 1 plus alpha alpha T which equals what what is r naught r naught equal to 100 ohm this is a resistance at 0 degree celsius 1 plus what is the alpha value 3.9 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 what is the temperature at 10 degree celsius we have to find so if we simplify this what you will get 100 
1 plus this if we multiply by 10 this will become 10 to the power minus 2 so this can be written as 0 0.039 which equals which equals what which equals now it is 100 multiplied by 1.039 1.039 which equals if you multiply by 100 103.9 ohm we will get so this is the answer so guys today's topic was the short topic small topic but it's an important topic all of you should know what is a temperature coefficient of a material and what is ptc positive temperature ptc also important positive temperature coefficient and ndc you just remember that ndc is mainly for the semiconductor materials ndc means with the rise in temperature what happens with the rise in temperature what happens the, with the rise in temperature resistance decreases that is what ndc it is positive temperature coefficient means with the rise in temperature resistance increases so guys thanks for watching please subscribe the channel and share with your friends see you with another video next topic we'll see next topic is going to be ohm's law thanks for watching See you.